Before this video review gets started, I would like to point out this disclaimer. None of the merchandise or products that I am showing in my videos are for sale, giveaway, or trade. If you like what I am showing within these videos, you can go ahead and purchase your own item. If it is a custom item, then you will need to make that yourself. If you can't buy or make your own version of the products that I am showing in my videos. That is too bad because you are not getting mine. So please do not ask me if you can have any of the items that I show within my review videos because the answer is going to be no. Thank you and please enjoy the review. Hello everyone and welcome to my first uh, either review video or mock overview video for 2020. First off, if you are going to ask me if this thing is for sale or if I can give it away to you or anything like that, I would advise you to go back and read that disclaimer that appeared at the start of the video. If you skipped over it, please go back and read it. Please. And if you do ask me, I am going to just say no. And I will continue to say no, no matter how many times you ask me. I know that most of you watching will know better than to have asked me something like that, but if you are in the process of posting such a comment like that, please hit cancel on that comment and don't bother asking me because it is not for sale, nothing in my videos are for sale, and they never will be, so asking me is a waste of your time. Alright, so anyway, with that out of the way, this right here is a custom Toa action figure. This is Toa Voriki. He is a Toa of Energy. And this uh, custom Toa was made up of quite a number of parts, custom parts, that came from Shapeways. I'm also noticing there was a little bit of dirt on the black ball piece. So anyway, before I get into that, uh, or get into the whole process of the, of the custom parts, I think that I should give a little history about uh, Toa Voriki. Now, I think that Toa Variki was one of the first, if not the first, photoshopped Bionicle characters. I think that in the very early days of Bionicle, when Bionicle had just come out, uh, there was someone, I don't know who it was, but somebody had used Photoshop to create this sort of custom Toa character called Toa Variki. And I think that was just a photoshopped image of Toa Tahu. Uh, you know, just assembling himself. And then also kind of did a sort of messed up version of the purple Picari from Onapu. Speaking of which, here is Onapu, the very first Onamatoran that we ever got. This was one of the ones that came out at McDonald's. And taking a look at them, you can see the similarities, uh, and you can see how how Furiki's mask is obviously based upon Onapu's with the added energy bolts that were added. Just, just it, the mask is just pretty much a result of. Uh, messing up a Picari in Photoshop, or I don't know if it was Photoshop, but some sort of uh, picture editing program. But you know, I just assume uh, it was uh, Photoshop because you know it. That's that's one of the obvious uh, picture editing programs. And I'm also going to bring out uh, Tahu right here. 
And uh, you can see that they are mostly alike, but you know, a lot of things are just kind of flipped around. You know, they both have a flame weapon in their hand, except Variki's is in his left hand and Tahu's is in his right hand. And Variki's weapon piece is supposed to kind of look like a version of Tahu's weapon piece. Just kind of a bit shorter and having lightning bolts come out. Instead of Tahu's flame piece, which, by the way, this is a very impressive flame piece. I really liked it when I was a kid, and I still like it now. Now the, the mask and the flame piece are custom pieces and uh, I do have a list of the names of the designers for each of the custom parts that are used here. The mask and weapon for starters were made by, well I think it was the shop that was called Shop of Math Rocks. So that is uh that's the shot that I got that from. The feet uh, are part of a, uh, a feet kit. Uh, they were actually kind of connected together by little, uh, little thin wires, which uh, could be uh, broken off. Uh, there are a little bit of uh, white uh, little pieces from, uh, you know, from breaking the little pins off. It, it's, it's something that you are supposed to do, the, what the designer was supposed to do. The feet, in particular, came from Iron Foam Armory. And the pieces, they're, they're like three pieces that, uh, they're like together with the very thin pieces, then you just break them apart, and then, uh, then the, the little, uh, the little thin piece that comes in between the feet up here, that's one piece. The front of the foot is another piece, and the back of the foot is also another piece. And the, the feet go together using a three long size axle piece. I got two of them because I needed to have two feet. And the torso piece, it is the original design of the, uh, of Toa. It's, the body was made by Arc Light, Arc Light Workshop. Kind of had to, uh, say the name a bit slowly to make sure that I said it uh, correctly. Now, uh, getting this thing assembled was not all that easy. In fact, I pretty much had a hard time with getting the the five long size axle piece in the bottom. You know, just probably had to just continuously slam down on the piece to get it to go in and, you know, even as far as uh, getting a hammer to get it in there. And I also had a hard time with getting the axle piece up on the upper torso end. And after a number of different tries, and uh, even with the hammer, I was just not able to get it in. And then I looked and I saw that the axle hole actually didn't go down all the way, which was why it didn't go in. So what I had to do was take one of the two long size axle pieces, and most of the two long size axle pieces, as most people know, uh, you know, one of these pieces right here, has this, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna get, uh, Tahu's and, uh, show you. Uh, okay, well, I can't even get the ball piece out. Oh, well. Well, anyway, one of these, well, two of the, the little bumps at the end, I just had to cut off half of an inch or half of a centimeter off. I don't know if it's inches or centimeters. But, you know, had to cut one of those off in order to get it to fit into the top section of Fariki's uh, torso. Uh, another alternative is probably just not to put a piece in there, but I didn't want the, uh, the upper portion to be kind of loose up on the top, so I, I just did put in that uh, axle piece to get it to work out. And overall, I find this uh, figure to be very impressive. So, you know, with, you know, being one of the very first early fake Bionicle sets to ever exist, I think that this was a pretty good one. 
I'm not quite sure how it would have worked out as an official set, you know, like maybe it would be the first ever 7th Toa, like before uh, Takanuva, you know, because I'm pretty sure that Takanuva was not even thought of yet at the time that Variki had been uh, made, you know, like maybe there'd be some sort of special edition set that this guy could have been a part of. Not sure if he could have been a part of some sort of a two-pack like, maybe if there was a Rahi that he was riding on. And I'm also not sure as to how his uh, impact in the storyline would also work out. Like, maybe he was just some sort of a Toa that was on Matanui long before the other Toa. Or maybe he was uh, a legendary Toa that the Turaka spoke of. I'm not entirely sure. So, I don't really have any story preference for this guy. Just, I just thought that it would be interesting to make such a uh, custom figure. And so, uh, here it is. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, for those of you who actually took the time to read the disclaimer at the beginning, I do appreciate you actually reading that. And for those who actually listen to the disclaimer at the start, I appreciate you listening to that as well. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.